Welcome to the latest Milton Keynes Council COVID-19 update. The number of cases in Milton Keynes is currently 181 per 100,000 people. This is a further reduction from last week. However, our local cases are still above the national average. Our analysis of the data shows that the rates of infection among working age people, particularly men, are coming down more slowly than the rest of our population. It's really important that if you are able to work from home, you must do so. If you're unable to work from home and need to go into your workplace, then remember to take all the necessary precautions, such as wearing a mask and staying two metres apart from others. It might be that some workplaces need to put more COVID prevention measures in place for people who can't work from home. These can be measures such as staggering start and finish times or making sure employees isolate if they have to. We contact and offer help to employers so they can get it right, and most do. However, if you have concerns about where you work, you can tell us confidentially at covidconcern at milton-keens.gov.uk. People should also take care when travelling to and from work. If you get a lift in a car, remember to wear a mask and keep the windows open. It's important to remember that one in three people with COVID-19 have no symptoms, but you can still spread the infection to others. That's why this week we've extended our free rapid tests for key workers. We offer these tests to people working on the front line who don't have any COVID symptoms. They are now available to key workers from supermarkets and shops. We're doing this to find people who have the virus without knowing so we can break the chain of infection. If you work at a shop and are currently going into work, please drop in. There's no need to book and the details are on our website. On Monday, a mass vaccination centre opened at our former Saxon Court offices. I'd like to thank all MK Council staff, local NH colleagues and other partners who have helped us deliver the site. The facility will now be an option for priority groups who are currently being contacted to book their vaccination. The centre is also capable of delivering thousands of vaccines a day, so it really is a vital facility in helping us to return to more normal days. And I'm pleased Milton Keynes already has the capacity to deliver what is needed when the time comes. Until next week, please stay home, protect the NHS and save lives. Thank you, stay safe and goodbye.